You should know by now, I'm completely incapable of leaving well enough alone. I reworked the holy water font. I could tell by your tone, no one was really happy with how this uh, font looked. And when I, you look at it, it was actually too blue. So what I've done is I've gone back over it, give it a different wash, made it a little greener, the greener patina that you would normally find on a, uh, a tarnished uh, copper or brass uh, piece. So I'm really, really done with the holy water font right now. <laughs> That's done, it's going away. All right, we're going out to the garage to cut the plastic sheet like I did yesterday. And I'm gonna start working on the candle offering luminary table. This is basically going to be put to the side though for the time being until I finish up the other window and uh, be continuing to work on the, uh, the offering table. And this is what I'm going to make the offering table out of. I'm going to change out the blade on here. But it's not. So the plastic sheet fits in here just nice. So we'll take this and put it to the side. These are the parts for the table. And we'll end up putting the pieces together like this clamping them in place and then brazing them using a propane torch and brazing rods. But I'm not going to do that today only because this metal still needs to be prepped. Have to file down the edges, have to clean off the edges to help the, uh, uh, the aluminum brazing rods melt and adhere. And, uh, I'm going to do that tomorrow. What we are going to work on though, uh, is the painting. I want to finish up this and paint that as well. It does help it stand out a little bit better. And I think we can actually take these pictures off from behind. Just may use them again on the other window. I don't think I need four different images, but maybe I do.
we got it done. Well, we got one done anyway. Tomorrow I'm going to work on the candle offering luminary table. I'll uh, start with the uh, brazing on that. And then we'll uh, dive into second gothic uh, window. If you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm working every day on props like this for Halloween 2016. It's going to be our first walkthrough haunt. And I think something like this is really going to help set the scene for me. You can also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We're on all social media. And leave a comment below on what your haunt plans are going to be for 2016. I'd like to hear about what you guys are doing. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give the video a thumbs up. Yeah.